What's good with y'all? It's your boy Nephi, and we are back with another video. Now, the Legends Data Mines just dropped right now. I was just about to go to bed and stuff, but y'all know I had to come through with the Legends Data Mines. So, what it's looking like is we have a bunch of new stuff coming tonight. Finally, we have the raid coming versus Super Saiyan. Oh, no, sorry. Versus Kid Buu. Obviously, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is the bonus character. So we have campaign raid showdown with the Majin. Okay, looking. I like this image. I like this image. We also have this mini raid. Exciting bonus mini raid. Every le every week, 24 hours only. Aim for amazing rewards with allies from around the world. Okay, so huh? So every week we have a raid. Are we back to the non-stop raid stuff? But it's only available for one day. It's interesting. Um, Ultimate Gohan is back. <laughs> of course, they're going to rerun him on his own banner. But LF Ultimate Gohan is back. I'm pretty sure this is the same thing as the Gogeta and Vegito banner rerun. To where it was that 5,000 CC multi thing. Because it does say 30 times, this 30 times summon. One LF guaranteed. Just don't summon on this. this especially since we're so close to Fest. Ultimate Gohan will rerun on a banner. So... In my my advice, just stay clear of this banner. It looks appealing just because of Ultimate Go on. These, these guys are mid, but it looks appealing. But trust me, it's not worth it. Um, and as well as that, we have the Zenkai Rush Battle for Dabura, which we actually have his kit, which we're going to go over in a second. We also have the Mega Autumn Sale. The 7,777 CC sale is back. Every now and then, I get this sale it's not a bad sale i mean 8000 cc i'm pretty sure this is like 70 ish dollars 60 to 70 dollars not a bad sale not a bad sale um we also have the raid details okay so challenge the raid boss with battle bonus characters okay so it's like a normal raid you can get those free to play tickets and of course, this is the same one. So the boost characters, of course, are Go Tanks, Herculean Boo, Ultra Turles, LF Tree of Mike Goku, and the Boo Duo. So looking pretty good there. Obviously, we have the Deborah Zenkai Awakening banner and the banner itself. We have obviously Deborah's card sleeves with, with his Zenkai. And oh, we have the we have Majin Boo when he morphed into that one guy. Those are card sleeves. That's cool. We have Daima Supreme Kai. Oh, I forgot bro's name. That guy. <laughs> and we have the login bonus. I'm pretty sure that is all, at least from what I'm looking at. Um, okay, so the website did get updated. Oh, okay, so the Ultra Kid Boo banner is coming back. And Ultra Super Vegito is coming back. Let's actually take a look at this banner. And we got the equips. Okay, okay. Um, LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku's equipped. Another plat for boost side. Oh my god, we just got hella stuff just now. I was about to end the video. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is 3 Ku's plat. This is a hybrid sand equip. And where's the gold tanks one I just looked at? It is right here. I'm pretty sure that's all from this little batch he just dropped. We'll take a look at this in a second. Um, actually, let's just take a look at this right now. Oh, so it's 3,000 Chrono Crystals. And so it's guaranteed LF. Um, the featured characters are Gohan, Goku, Barada, Kid Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, Go Freeze, and Boo Duo. Still don't summon on this. This man is horrible. Look like all the LF this is one of those banners where like they all the featured units look cool but then you realize this is picking one out of lf out of like 20 lfs and all of them are old except like five <laughs> so it's never worth it so let's get let's save three goose plat for last because that's what i'm very excited for let's look at the bora zenkai kit real quick so his main ability is he gets a blue card 30 percent health and 50 key 70% chance for the next blue card to inflict paralyze. Applies buff effect null nullify debuff for three times or up to three times. And he also nullifies downgrades once to ally. Shorten sub count by three and cancels enemy buff effects. 
Um, so his Zenkai unique ability shortens own sub count by two as default. Okay, so that has the the go tanks thing. Ninety percent inflicted, forty percent received. <laughs> when he's on the battlefield, he gets one new card. Thirty key seals one card for ten counts. Forty blast damage inflicted against hybrids. When he gets hit by enemy card, he just he nullifies the short arts card and. Reduces key by third. Okay. Wow, this is permanent. This is per oh no 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 wait wait I'm dumb. It says activates once. So reduces key by 30, but it resets on switch. If the enemy switches while he's up, what this is just not gonna happen, like let's keep it real. He gives 20% inflicted to allies for 10 counts, short sub count by one, and minus one to draw speed to enemies for five counts. When he changes cover, he gets 10% heal. And he's type neutral for five counts. When he switches to standby, he heals 10%, restores ally key by 30, 15% damage support, and 30% key recovery support. When the enemy activates an ult, awakened, or rush, while he's on standby, he shortens sub count by three. He restores ally health by 15 and 30%. Oh, oh, that's actually pretty good. So when like an ally is hit by an ult or rush, he heals them. That's really good. And then when he's defeated, so death buffs, 50 key, one, minus one draw speed for 20 counts, seals one card, okay. Let's see his Zenkai ability, blue boo saga, okay, really good, really good. Um, okay, green card, so draws a blast card, 30 key, 20, reduces the next damage sustained by 10%. Um, okay, so the next comp, it takes 10% more damage, less damage. He's still gonna get blasted, but that's pretty good. Um, so depending on how many times his green card is used, so the first time it's used, he gets thirty percent inflicted and draw speed. The second time it's used, he gets another thirty percent inflicted and minus five to arts cost. The third time it's used, you get thirty percent to the next art inflicted and nullifies cover change for three counts. Uh, blue card major explode damage thirty percent to blue card damage thirty percent. If the enemy is inflicted with paralyze, um, yeah, he's not that good. He's not that good. Um, it's to be expected though. I mean, this guy was kind of cooked from the start. <laughs> he's on like two teams. Uh, good bench though. I will say, very good bench. Blue Blue Saga. If we just want to look at it real quick, obviously, go G or <laughs> go Vegeta. We got Vegito. We got the Boo Duo, and Kid Boo as well is blue. And the Ultra Majin Vegeta at the end of the month will be blue, right guys? Uh, Ultra Majin Vegeta, I hope, please. <laughs> Alright, let's look at these equips real quick. I think that's all. Um, So we can look at the equips and stuff. Yeah, that, that's everything. So, let's look at the equips real quick and then we'll wrap up this video. So, we have three equipments. We have Let's Scare Them, Thanks Again Dende, and we have the Go Tanks equip which let me just pull up right here uh it was this one okay so this is new awaken equip for hybrid saiyans so 15 percent to blast defense 10 uh 30 percent to blast and 15 percent to base strike six percent to strike defense per hybrid saiyan battle not, not bad not bad not bad all right let's see the new boo saga hybrid equip so this is one of those equips where it's it's just meant for the new character, so let's see what it does. So 10% HP, okay, looking good already. 10% strike defense, 10% to strike attack when Kids is a battle member. Slot 3, 50 oh, okay, that's not bad. The 10% base health is crazy, though. That's crazy. But we're here for 3 coup. okay? I'm praying right now. I want him to be good so bad. This guy used to carry me on that three coup yellow Vegeta team. Oh, that that combination just carried me back in the old Legends days, man. So I'm hoping he can come back. Let's see. Okay, first slot, 15% health, 40% base strike, 40% base blast, 40% strike defense, and 40% blast defense. Already not looking too bad. 90% inflicted, 40% sustain damage cut. 50% blue card damage, 50% ult damage, and 20% of blast starts damage. Okay. Looking good on the stats. Okay, it's pretty short. Plus one to special cover change. Plus one to amount special cover change can be used. Okay. 
Oh, because remember his um discover change can only be used twice, right? Or once. It adds one more cover change, so obviously he has the instant transmission cover change. When he enters the battlefield, he gets draw speed for 10 counts, nullifies cover change for 5 counts, cancels enemy buff effects when they activate an ult or awaken darts when he's on standby. Ooh, I don't know if it's enough, but it doesn't look too bad. We're gonna have to see a game. Uh, I like this though. A lot of stats on him. Um, we're gonna have to see though. We're gonna have to see, but it, it doesn't look too bad. Um, we'll see in game. Uh, I am kind of tired, so that could be why I'm not really like thinking too hard into it. But it, it look it looks solid, and that's gonna be it for tonight's video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, and tune in for legends updates and stuff like that. I always try to make videos on DDLs and news when I'm able to, and that's gonna be it for me. Have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this. Love you guys.